Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, I want to show you guys something real quick. Cows are hungry. Uh, there's only one little problem. I've got a mixing wagon, but I am not sure how to use it. Um, I don't know the ratios. Back home with beef cattle, it's pretty simple. We feed them a little bit of hay. We feed them a little more hay in the wintertime, some corn to fatten them up. But for the most part, they just uh, graze in pastures, and we just rotate them. Um, I know dairy cows are a little different. Grandpa did give me a number for a guy who he said has helped him out um, over the past with the feeding of the cows, and hopefully he can give us a, a hand today. So let me uh, give him a crawl real quick, and we'll see if he's available. Hello, Carry Guard Farm Relief. Yeah, hi. Um, my name is Jim, and uh, my grandfather, uh, Mr. McNally at McNally Farms, gave me this number to call about seeing if somebody could help me with feeding the cows. I, I remember Mr. McNally. Uh, my name's Liam. I've been up there with him before. I left him my number. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's yeah. He gave me a little sticky note, and and, and uh, it just had a number. It didn't have a name. So uh, nice yeah, to meet yeah, you, Lee. Not, yeah, not too bad. Uh, yeah, he wasn't he wasn't well, so I was up there a couple of times with the farmer Leaf, having a look at it and getting the cows fed and getting the cows milked. So yeah, yeah. So you want me to come up again? Uh, please, if you could. I, I need to uh, I need to feed, and I have no idea how to use these uh, these mixing wagons and whatnot. Oh, so do you need me to come up and actually do the work, or do you just want me to come up and uh, give you a, give you a tour of, of how to use the machines and, yeah, if, and what to do? Yeah, if if you could just come up and kind of give me a rundown and just tell me how to do it. Um, I came over from America and I'm kind of running his farm for him, but I just uh, oh wow. I, once you show me how to use something one time, I can figure it out pretty well. So yeah, no, that's fine. Well, if it's if that's all it is, I, I'm pretty close. I can call up. I'm I'm working on another farm today, but I can pop up. I'm only down the road. Um, give me ten or fifteen minutes, and I'll be up to you. Oh, perfect. Um, I'll be out in the out in the yard somewhere, so just uh, I'll hear you when you pull in. No problem. Okay. Thanks a million. Thank you. Talk to you. All right. Perfect. So that's going to be a big help. So I'm sure I'm going to need uh, a tractor I know hooked up to that uh, mixing wagon. I think well, what we'll do is we'll come over here and grab this guy. Grab the 7R and hook up to him. And I know I'm going to need my telehandler and the forks. So oh, I'm glad I, got that, uh, glad I got that tire fixed. Otherwise, we would be bumming. So, uh, after I ended the vlog, I ended up, uh, I got all of those, I got slurry spread on all of those grass fields, so that's uh, taken care of and done. We don't have to worry about that anymore. I guess I'll just kind of pull this thing uh, up out of the way here, and uh, I'll wait and see what Liam has in mind when he gets here. Now I do have to take uh, and hook my pallet fork, or not pallet fork, but my bale spear up to this telehandler here. So I might as well get all that ready so I'm not wasting his time. Uh, yep, tire's still up. Good, the plug worked, so perfect. Let's get this guy out of the shop. So I hope everybody's still enjoying the vlogs. Um, I'm trying to document as much uh, of the farm as I can, guys. Just kind of bear with me with, um, you know, with Grandpa being sick. That's taking a lot of my time. 
um, they have medical services over here that's uh, it's, it's kind of like they are back home but um, uh, we, we talked to his primary doctor and they are going to have a nurse that's going to come by daily and uh, uh, be with grandpa and look after him so I will be able to you know that'll free me up a little bit to do some more farm chores um, and still be able to take care you know know he's getting good care I guess I'll just park this up right here kill that so that's gonna that's, that's gonna help me out a lot actually being able to um, There's some bales here, being able to, you know, do some work around the farm and, and know that he's being well taken care of, so. So now it looks like we've got uh, everything ready to go as far as I know. Um, I'm assuming it's going to take uh, some sort of mixture of hay, um, silage bales, and maybe even straw. I'm not sure. I do have um, some more hay bales over here just on the side of this field that I'd like to use first just so I can get them up out of here. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll I'll uh, grab some bales there when Liam gets here, and that's what we'll use. I think I hear something. Go up here and meet him. God, look at that tractor. Jeez. Hello, Liam. Hello there. How's it going? Sorry, I'm late. It took a bit longer than I expected. Oh, no, no, no. No worries. No. So, what can I do for you? Oh, well, I was just kind of looking at your, your tractor here. Holy cow, that's a nice. Tractor. Yeah, it's not even the big one. I had a bigger one earlier on, but uh, something went wrong with it and I couldn't get back into it. <laughs> so oh. the boss put me in a smaller one and off I went again. Oh, I got you. Yeah, well, that yeah. Yeah. Sharp. yeah, that's the good thing. Good thing about being a farm relief worker. You get to do loads and loads of different things. Different farmer potentially every day, different machines. Sometimes tiny machines, sometimes amazing machines. So, yeah, it's fun. Well, hey, um, I got to tell you, man, I, I greatly appreciate you coming up here this fast. I. I appreciate uh, no it. Anything, any kind of help you need or anything I can do for you, just let me know. Yeah, well, you're you're a farmer already, yeah, from back home. Yes. So once I show this to you, you won't have any problems. No problem at all. Awesome. Yeah, yeah I've got uh, un uncharted territory for you. You haven't, you haven't <laughs> done it this way, the Irish way. <laughs> no, I have not. Um, yeah. Just uh, if you want to come around the corner here, that's where I've got all my uh, bales and. No problem. Now I've got my telehandler down here, and of course I got my mixing wagon hooked up. Um, I guess I we'll get it in position well, you've, whenever you've we figure busy. out. There's more here than the last time I was here. Yeah, we, we yeah. actually brought some in, and we got some gra grass fields back here cut. And Very good. So. Uh, you might want to bring those uh, hay bales into the shed at some stage. If we do get some Irish weather, you might. Uh, they might, they might start rotting on you. Yeah, uh, that's, that, that's, good. that's one of the things I have to do, actually. Yeah, no, I thought it's all good. Right, so, you have your telehandler, you have you have the mixer wagon, where is it? The last time I left it, it was down the other end of the yard. Uh, yeah, it's it's actually hooked oh, up to this here. tractor here. Yeah, I just wasn't sure where I should park it. Perfect, so, you probably, back in the States, you probably just use uh, pretty much hay. 
all yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, hay, and they just graze on the pasture. But we, uh, my my farm does beef cattle. We don't mess with milk or anything uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here we we uh, we'll do a mix of silage and hay. Um, probably heavier on the silage because it's, it's easier to make, <laughs> and uh, you tend to have a lot more silage on your in your yard. You know. I gotcha. Um, you've got loads of it as well, I think. Um, so we'll do a kind of a mix of. You can do 50-50 hay and silage, but 25%, 75%, you'll get away with it. If you want, if you're a bit low on hay and silage and you have loads of straw, which you do, you can throw a, s a straw bale into it as well. Oh, okay. And, uh, just as, as padding to fill it out, it gives a bit more roughage. I gotcha. Okay, so you know, but you want to, you want to, you could just feed them silage away, but it wouldn't get you the same yield in the milk. Um, you need to have more of a balanced, a balanced diet for them with enough the best the proper mix of fiber and protein and sugars and if you mix it and give it a good tumble in the machine there uh, it, it'll do a better job oh okay. you get a better yield on the milk and the milk is where you'll make your money sure uh, well if, absolutely yeah yeah so uh okay cool but sure let's rock and roll uh probably want to move her up into the yard there yeah uh, just close to those bales yeah I'll, I'll bring it over there and um uh... I let you do everything because you might as well do it yourself. I, I'll just uh, direct as it were. Hey, that works for me. Let's see, yeah, I guess I'm back right up in there. big is that mixer? I can't remember rightly uh, uh, how big this one is. This is one of the bigger ones he got, actually. It is, yeah. I think uh, the tag said 28,000 liters or something on the front. I'm not, and I'm not familiar with liters either. We don't uh, use that type of no, measurement. that's cool. That's cool. Um, okay, so what do we got down here? We've got, we've got hay. We've got plenty of silage. Okay. Well, you might as well, we, we'll start off, we'll throw uh, one straw into it, just okay. as a base. Um, and then we'll do let me see. Or uh, yeah, we'll we'll throw one straw in and then just do fifty-fifty silage and hay. Perfect. Yeah. Right, so let's grab a straw bale here. That's a handy little machine. Oh, it's, it's great. I love it. Alright, that was easy enough. Now... Whoopsies, I'll get out of the way. I should know better. <laughs> grab a Actually, yeah. So we're we'll going to probably, this. knowing with the size of that, you're probably looking at three bales. Yeah, at least actually, is what yeah, I was saying. Grab two, actually, you know what we'll do? Grab two. Just grab two hay. Grab two hay and we'll top it all off with silage then for the rest of it. Because you've got a lot more silage in your arsenal here, so we'll go easy on the hay. Lovely. And then uh, I reckon we should get in at least three, if not four, of those bales. Of silage. Okay, grab two there. Probably one more silage, yeah? Uh, I would go, yeah, definitely one more. You might even get them. You might even get two in. Oh, 
Yeah, let's go with two. Yeah, I go with two. I'd say, I'd say that will do it. That's a that's a good mix then. Heavier on the you've got the roughage with the straw, and you've got an adequate mix of hay and silage. It doesn't have to be 50-50 by any stretch. It's easier to make silage bales because you don't have to worry about the saving them in the good weather. Do it in the wet. So that's it. So you probably have a, you got a screen in the tractor to tell you uh, it, it's full. Yeah, yeah. It looks fairly it looks fairly full to me now. I'd say we should be good. So, oh yeah. Right. So if you want to run down with that, I'll come down and we'll uh, we'll throw it in. Perfect. Yeah, this is a tight chair to remember. Remember <laughs> yeah. this the last time. It'd be hard to get in with this big machine. Ah. You want a JCB like mine? All wheel steer. Boy, it'd be, it'd be handy here. I just yeah. need to move those pallets out of the way. I've I think run I drove over, over several them times. Well. Yeah. Okay, so just uh, empty it here in this trough, yeah? Yeah, just put it in the trough, trough there. They will come running for us, I'll tell you that for sure. Good. And if you want to memorize that mix, that mix is going to be perfect. Every time you do it, uh, throw in a straw and then two, two, two hay and four silage. That that'll work fine in that mix. Awesome. If in the future you're, you're, you're uh, in a position to sow some, some sugar beet or some butter beet, that can be a good, it gives a lot more fibre and a lot more, obviously, sugars and proteins to, uh, in, in your feed as well. Oh, um, okay, okay. Yeah, it's a good one to do a lot of farmers, even potatoes. Sugar beet or potatoes, you can do that. Um, but uh, I, I don't think you have any of them, I definitely you're, you're not, I never did. I, was, I did, did it a few times that I did it, so, uh, no. You keep going with that mix, you'll be, uh, you'll be uh, spot on. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, no the last time you were here, you said you, you did milk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I, would, uh, would you mind going over to the milking parlor with me just to make sure all the equipment's ready to go? And Yeah, yeah, no problem. We can give it a once over. Just uh, the last time I was there, I would have cleaned it up. So uh, they haven't... We can actually, we can cut well, through this gate here. It may well have been another guys from the release. So, oh, okay. So we, can, we can take a look and see. Uh, go around here. We have to cross over. It's at the other side of the road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. It'll just be one last thing I need to, you know, bother Grandpa with, so. Yeah, so you're planning to get your head around the milking as well. Have you done milking before? You haven't, by sound of it. No, I have not. Yeah. Yeah. 
we can just hop this fence here. Yeah. Left and right. They've cross code. <laughs> and uh, in we go. Now, yeah, it's quite a setup here. It's handy having it across the road. Yeah. A lot more space. Right. Very good. Do, 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 do. Things looking good. Just go down here. Clean, anyway. She's being mucked out. Yeah, Grandpa was always a stickler for cleanliness. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are all looking fine. Let me see. Yeah. Must be a hold in time. Happy enough with these guys. They're all clean. They've been sterilized. No bothers at all. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. I don't want to make anybody sick. Oh, it's all good. Do do. Yeah. Oh, good. Not a butter. Good, good, good. Yeah, no, you're fine. Everything's looking okay there. There's, there's no issues there whatsoever. Perfect. Oh, you're, you're, you're safe to. Uh, well, as you know yourself, you've probably seen the cows coming over here. They, yeah. <laughs> they'll know what time they go milking, and they will be lined up at the gate. Oh so, yeah. Uh, they'll tell you when they want to be milked. <laughs> They're probably looking for some relief. I, I should think so. <laughs> um. Well, there you go. I, I tell you now, I'm going to have to get back to work. Um, or the boss will be wondering how long it took me to fill up with diesel. Um, but uh, hopefully that helped out and you're you're happy enough with feeding them from now on. Oh, reckon? Liam, hey man, I, you've done more than I could have asked. I, I really appreciate it. No worries, no worries. Um, yeah, don't forget to give them some water as well. Yeah, I, I'm going to I'm gonna water them. I'm going to finish feeding them you know, this afternoon probably. But, uh, yeah, hey, um, thank you so much, man. Yeah, no worries. And look, you have my number. Keep that number in the kitchen where it was. And uh, any questions at all, give me a shout. Or if you want any, if you're if you're doing the milking or doing the, the feeding and you forget something, give me a shout. And I'll, uh, I'll fill you in. No awesome. No all right. Thank you so much. Not at all. Let's, uh, let's head back over. Okay. Well, there we go, guys. Another vlog done. Uh, now it's time to get these cows fed, so. Awesome. Quite some operation he's got going on here, isn't it? It's just uh, a... It's a fantastic farm. It's all very well organized and set up properly. Oh yeah, he, uh... Grandpa, you know, for, for a one-man show here, he, uh... Tell you what, it yeah. kept him. It kept keep you busy. I know that. Yeah, no, the the place was kept well. Everything was. <laughs> look at the cows; are already getting ready for milking. <laughs> yeah. Only half three in the afternoon. Guys, ladies. Um. Yeah, no, he was very well organized, and he he had all the machinery he needed as well to do it right. Like you were saying, I had a nice looking tractor. There's nothing wrong with that tractor either. Oh no, no, she's a she's beast. Mm. Thank you very much. You're now, well, that's it. Well, best of luck with it, man. You have a big job ahead of you because uh, Mr. McNally was always fairly, fairly busy. Oh yeah, I can. You never had a moment. I'm starting to see just how busy he was. So. <laughs> well, that's it. Look, Jim, I'm going to have to go because uh, I am going to get sacked. <laughs> oh no, that's no. Trust me. Go on. I don't want to see you get in trouble, man. For no worries. Well, thank you very much. And uh, again, keep my number. You know where I am. Okay, doke. Thank you so much. No problem, Jimmy. See you. Bye bye. See ya. Well, guys, there it is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I know it's kind of short, but uh, I've got uh, the nurse that's gonna come over and stay with Grandpa. She's supposed to be here between 3:30 and 3:45. So. We're going to sit down, have a little meeting, find out what Grandpa's medical needs are and how often she'll be here every day and, and get that all sorted out. So, hey, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, um, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. Say me what you'd like to see in future vlogs. Uh, maybe we can accommodate. If you're, just new, if you're new here, uh, give us a sub and ring that bell so you know when the next video is going to 
be ready to view. So, uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. Um, I know I'm kind of a quote unquote noob when it comes to this Irish farming, but uh, hey, we're learning. That's what this is all about. So, uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.